The last time we saw Colt and Vanessa, their marriage was at a breaking point. Vanessa could no longer stand living with Debbie and had moved out, but Colt continued to live with his mum. This was despite the fact that Vanessa had just had a miscarriage, and if ever she needed her husband there for her, now would have been the time. I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were divorcing when you left the house. Yeah. I, I never thought I would see you again, I thought you were just done. I didn't mean to leave like that, I was just, I, I got so frustrated, I felt like I had repeated myself so many times and my point wasn't getting across or nothing was being done and it's just like, I had it, I just had it. If Colt continues living the same life he's lived for 36 years, then I will have to end the marriage and it just, it breaks my heart. So how are they now? Well, when we catch up with them in the latest episode of 90 Day Diaries, I'm pleased to say that their relationship seems to be in a better place. I haven't officially moved out of my mother's house yet, but I've definitely made it more important to be around Vanessa as much as I can. So I've been spending pretty much my entire time at her cousin's house. I realized that I really had to prioritize my relationship with my wife and focus on her. And I'm sure you'll agree, it's encouraging to see Colt finally taking steps towards being a responsible adult. I wouldn't say he's all the way there yet, but he is taking steps at least. And I think that Vanessa deserves a lot of credit for that growth. Her unorthodox training technique seems to be working. You deal with me like you deal with a dog. Yeah, pretty much. He even starts giving me commands like the dog. Sometimes you need it. <laughs> you need way more training than Boxy. And I think you need to start acting like an adult in life. Now, while Colt does finally appear to be breaking free of his mum and prioritising Vanessa, that's not to say that everything is fine. There are definitely a number of problems in their relationship. One of the main issues is money. Eventually, Vanessa and I definitely want to find a place of her own, but I've been unemployed since the pandemic hit. And even though my job is very rewarding, the pay isn't very good. Vanessa's job, which looks incredibly cool, is to train diabetic alert dogs. Whereas Colt, who's a software developer, had been working in the gambling industry, but decided that he didn't want to do that anymore. My last job was developing slot machine games and I just didn't really like that industry. So I'm trying to expand my horizons and seeing what else is out there as a lone software developer in this crazy, crazy world. Now, we'll come back to Colt's job shortly because it becomes very important for their storyline. But Vanessa's job also gives us an insight into another big issue these two face, which is Colt's ability to take responsibility and to support his wife. I'm not used to the responsibility of having, I've never had a dog, especially a puppy. She's a lot of work, but you know what? Like I said, one day I will want a yeah, puppy of my own. I'm fine. gonna want a child. What's gonna happen when there's a child? Well, if you can't handle I a puppy, how the are you going to handle a child? I can handle a puppy right now or a child. I don't even have finances. I don't even have a house to put a child in or a dog. Which begs the question, what would they have done had they not had that miscarriage? Would Colt have continued with the software development job? I guess one thing we do know is that tragic miscarriage has undeniably impacted on their relationship, but they do still want kids in the future. It was very traumatic. It was a lot to process. I do feel like I could have a child with Colt someday, but we realize we're not ready for a kid right now. Now, this leads us onto another issue that these two face. Despite being married, they've never experienced what it would be like to live together alone, which leads Colt to make a suggestion. You and I have never lived together on our own. No. Would you like to take a little staycation? I want to rent a house nearby for the weekend so that Vanessa and I can get a feel for what it is like to live alone. Just seeing how it's going to be when we have our own home, that's exciting. Now, critics might say, what exactly are they hoping to learn about each other over a weekend that they don't already know having lived together under Debbie's roof? And sure, if you were to say to me, this sounds very much like a made up storyline in order to feature on 90 Day Diaries, then my response to you would be, well, no matter how well you think you know your partner, until you've hosted a dinner party together, you don't know them at all. <laughs> wow, look at this place. What are we doing tonight? We are having our good friends, Carla and Mark over. Our first time having our own place. Uh, <laughs> we're adulting it up. 
Congrats, Colt. It feels good to finally be an adult, right? But as Vanessa soon discovers, this whole dinner party thing might be a bit more complicated than it looks. Oh my god, and we're off to a good start. Dude, this is trash. We're not serving that. Now, when Mark and Carla arrive, talk soon turns to when Colt and Vanessa might get a home of their own. Are you guys planning about getting together? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Are you? And that leads us back to the topic of Colt's job. You see, Colt reveals that the idea of moving out of state for work, in other words, moving away from his mum, actually really appeals to him. Where are you thinking of going? I don't know, anywhere. I mean, wherever the work takes me. Maybe Washington, or Montana, Alabama, Florida. Oh, wow. The question is, while Colt is prepared to move, is Vanessa. She definitely seems to have her doubts. Her main reason for concern? Well, Colt gets bored easily, and he doesn't particularly have a good track record of seeing things through. Let's say we move out to somewhere like Alabama. He doesn't like it, then what? Like, what's the next move? What worries me about moving to a different state other than leaving friends and family behind are Colt's track records. He tends to not follow through too much. Colt is very flighty, I would say. You get bored or you get frustrated. Meh, never mind, this sucks. Next thing. And when Colt shares that the reason why he wants to move is he wants to be able to stand on his own two feet, he wants to be able to support Vanessa by himself, well, it seems like both Vanessa and his friend Mark agree with that sentiment. I care about my family more than anything, and you're my family, and I want to make money for you. I want to watch you to rely on your cousin or my mother for, you know, a shelter. And maybe moving is the best thing that can happen to them. It doesn't matter where they go. They need to be together. I think he's being smart right now. Smarter than I've ever seen him be. And again, while it's still all just words at this stage, it is good to see Colt finally take responsibility and finally become an adult. The problem is, he's been acting like a child for so long that it's actually quite difficult for others to treat him like an adult. I think I still kind of see Colt as a child, so I kind of dismiss him a lot. Um, I just need to see him as a partner. I mean, yeah, we've definitely seen signs of her treating him like a child throughout their relationship. But as Vanessa admits, Colt might actually be changing this time. And if she's right and he is, well, then she would be willing to make sacrifices for the sake of her marriage. He seems more ready now than ever before to follow through with things. And even though I'd be sad to leave Las Vegas, I'm, I'm ready to follow him. Do you think Colt will follow through with this? Or are they just empty words, hollow promises? I mean, I'd be surprised if he left Debbie's side. But then again, I never expected Brandon to move across country either. And he proved me wrong. If you missed that video of Brandon and Julia breaking the news to his parents, I'll leave that on screen for you to check out now.